Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I went ahead off camera and beat Imakuni here once off camera. And I also beat Red Imakuni over at GR Island once off camera. Or is it the same Imakuni? I don't know! <laughs> well, in the booster packs that I got, I got a uh, extra Blastoise of the Rain Dance variety. <laughs> yeah. So we got another one of those, but uh, more importantly, we got another energy removal in there. So I thought I would plop that in, and maybe I will switch out the switch that's in here, and call it the day. And now, you're probably wondering, why did I beat them off camera? And you're probably also wondering, why am I going to re-beat them on camera? Well, every third time you beat them, I do believe... They give you a promotional card. So let's go ahead and get that. I'm the super musical star Imakuni. What is it? Oh, it's you, you're persistent. Are those your cards? Would you like a card bell? Don't be shy. You'd like to have a duel with me, wouldn't you? Have I trained enough? We'll see! Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I'm lonely, can't you see? No one to play cards with me. Oh, that's uh. Same dialogue, okay. Alright, six prize cards? We're battling seriously! Inky deck, let's go! <laughs> so yeah, I'm not using my main beater of death because I figured I'd give him a little, little bit of a chance, you know. I'm not gonna hit some no stop at deck right now. Whoops, uh, maybe I'll save that Scyther for trade because I already got a Scyther on the field. So yeah, <laughs> just figured out I'd stick with this. Just, just try the, with the extra energy removal, and maybe it won't be too powerful. Maybe mm, it's gonna be too powerful, isn't it? Anyway, let's bite. <laughs> so I'm gonna see. Oh, you seem very happy with that. Uh, maybe not happy enough to try and confuse my Rattata though. Like, well, yeah, why didn't he try the confuser? Right? I don't know, maybe because it's got too low of HP and he just wants to destroy me with Fury Swipes? Maybe? And certainly not the Jinx. But anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Energy removal at Psyduck, and Bite. I only have two of them in my deck, and I already got one in my opening hand. So he's already set back a turn. <laughs> and Farfetch, oh man! Oh man! It could be the end for my Rotata. It could be, depending on the leak slap. Oh. <laughs> well, so much for that. Now he'll never be able to use that attack again with that far-fetched. Alas, alas. Actually, you know what, maybe I should plop the other scythe around there. Just for the sake of backup and do a bite for now. Then surprise him with the plus power later. <laughs> Although I wouldn't say that out loud if I was playing him face to face. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's plop that on there. I got the extra grass anyway, so surprise plus power as promised. And that bite will wipe out all the energy he was working for that pot smash. <laughs> Sorry, guy! <laughs> yeah, that, oh, oh, he's out of energy. Oh, man! Oh, no! <laughs> um, I guess I will trade for Bulbasaur, yes. There we go, put that on there, and give it a little nibble. Because the Bulbasaur could potentially turn into something... Possibly, and maybe in the future. Ooh, Golduck, that could be a problem. We might finally have an issue, I repeat! We might finally have an issue! And... Wait, hold on a sec, hold on a sec, isn't... Okay, he's weak against lightning, I thought maybe it was one of the kinds that was weak against grass, but no. Um. Hmm. Right. Plop that on anything until I know I need it. So I'm just gonna hold on to the energy and call it a turn. He might be able to knock out the Rattata, but if not, well, no, oh, well, he's not gonna be able to knock it out before I do some extra damage. Let's put it that way. <laughs> That's what I meant, really. Oh, oh sure. Now I get another Bulbasaur. Uh, maybe I'll hold that for a trade, and bite. Also holding on to the energy for whatever I may need it for in the future, and yeah, that'll knock out the uh, Rattata. By the way, you'll notice Psyshock requires Psychic Energy, 
But that doesn't mean Rattata is resistant, because Golduck is a water type. See that by its name? Always remember to look at the symbol by its name. And... I guess I should do Scyther. Probably is 30 HP left after all, and I got the... I'm all ready for the slashing, so... Might as well. <laughs> and Grass Energy... Oh, Hungry Snorlax! It could be a battle of Hungries. Wait, why would... Why would you do that? <laughs> you know what's in my discard pile. That's the only thing. <laughs> you know, Pokemon-wise, that's in my discard pile, so... Why would you want to put something that's resistant to your Psychic? Out on the... I don't know. <laughs> anyway! Might as well pl plop that on there, then. Um, I guess I could be fancy with it in Swords Dance. <laughs> sure, why not? It'll take two attacks to knock out the Drowsy anyway, and I don't think he's uh, got anything that could disrupt my attacks, otherwise he probably would have done it already, if you think about it. And the double damage slash! Yes! Like a pro-ish. Actually, a pro would have chose to use just the slash outright, but it's <laughs> just for the fun of it. Because, <laughs> yeah, you want to be doing damage constantly, because otherwise the opponent could have, say, gust of winded you and just nulled your uh, slash attack anyway, so... This is how it's done normally. <laughs> So yeah, we'd slash and then we'd do plus power, bleh, plus power, plus power, the next slash. <laughs> to do the pro moves. Uh, let's go ahead and plop that on there. <laughs> so it's just filling up everything with Rattatas. There we do that, and there we do that. And there goes the Jinx. Well, we're going to be going to uh, all the prize cards, so... And there it is. <laughs> We are going! Hungry Snorlax versus Hungry Snorlax, it's looking like. Oh, that Slowpoke is one of the promotional cards you can get from the Imakuni, by the way. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's this one. I think you get a Farfetch promo from this one. Yeah, that rare Farfetch you've seen from uh, Ishihara. Yeah, that, well, the same Farfetch, it plays the same and everything like that, but yeah. Um, I might as well just... Wait, wait, can I... Gust of Wind that Snorlax and Null it's eating? I never thought about that before. Like, let's go to... The Slowpoke. I, I was gonna show you the Slowpoke anyway. Whoops, wrong direction. Yeah, the Slowpoke is headbutt 10. Amnesia cannot use the attacks. I think, well, actually, I may, may have showed you that before, but anyway. Um, now we're gonna Professor Oak. And that was, you know, that was primarily a setup just to clean out my hand and just get things set up for the future, just knocking out all we can, knock out as quickly as we can, you know? And, I mean, of course the Hungry Snorlax may just eat any again anyway, but I mean, it won't be able to knock out Scyther outright then. And now I got the Fen there, that seems like a pretty nice proposition. Mm, let's just go Slash. And hit that Slowpoke down to its last 10. And nothing. <laughs> no eight, um, no energy cards, I guess, either. Uh, well, for him, I mean. Of course, I've got energy cards. I guess I'll plop that on that Scyther and finish off the Slowpoke. And he's probably going to put in the Hungry one. And there it is. Going to eat first, probably. Oh, no, it's still got the food counter. So, I, okay, so yeah, I, I did... How did I not pick up on that? <laughs> okay, so... Wait, wait, wait. Why didn't you just... Outright knockout psych. Ah, oh, never mind. This is Imakuni. <laughs> I should not question the Imakuni. I'll pop that on there. I separated the recycle energy from the double colorless energy to kind of mix things up on there. And I think I should probably just go ahead and slash. Probably, I guess. It's probably just going to use one food counter to knock out the Scyther. But here we go, here we go! Eh! Yep, one food counter. <laughs> and... So now he's got one more in reserve. What could that be used for? Well, maybe this hungry Snorlax, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and eat my soul. Look at this, double matchup! 
Yeah, I probably should have put out Scyther, but I don't know, I just... But... You really want my big beater back on the field? Okay! <laughs> and he... Oh, he's eating instead of just attacking outright. Alright. What I was gonna do was, I was just gonna go ahead and roll out with 50 and then, yeah, finish him off with another little attack on the next turn. And I'll plop that on Scyther, and... Behold the rollouts! One counter! <laughs> it's 50. And see, now it's down to 20, which puts it in range of just the regular rollout attack. Uh, and he's not gonna maximize that rollout to 70. I mean, yeah, to 80, excuse me. <laughs> so now we are at equal HP, but I had the turn curve in my favor. So either way, it would have been... Yeah. Um... I guess I'll plop Defender on my hungry one. Not that he has anything in the specific that, yeah, is a threat or anything like that, but I figure, eh, might as well. Um, can I trade for another... Radicate? Could I? <laughs> yes, I can! <laughs> might as well, right? And I guess I might as well do that as well. Professor Rook, why not? Just dump on everything! Just double the defenders for overkill damage prevention, especially since Drowsy can't do anything to it in general, but you might have something, you know? <laughs> Just want to see what I get out of all this. And he, well, he did fill up my bench, so I can't play my Venom Venonat into Venomoths. Thought that, that maybe that was his plan all along? Uh. Uh. I, I don't know if he thought that far ahead, but anyway, I'm just gonna roll out now. <laughs> I've exhausted all my possibilities for the turn, <laughs> just to see what I had, and outright win the game. Hungry versus Hungry? My Hungry took the top spots because of math. <laughs> Kid, you beat me three times now. Are you happy? Are you happy? Woo! It's the Four Friends! That's what I thought! Woo! <laughs> so yeah, we know, we know the attacks of this Farfetch, it's just got a different picture, so... Well, then I guess I'll continue to go wander around! Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> and thus he does. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is head on over to some GR club that he's currently at. He always seems to be at the Fire Club over <laughs> at the regular island. It is... I don't know. <laughs> it just seems how it's, how it's rolling there. I, I, I could have swore he's, he's able to go to any other club unless it was just like that in the original game or something like that. You know, that he wanders around, but in this game maybe he only is at the fire club? I don't know. Anyway, let's just go to each fortress individually. And... Yep. <laughs> well, actually, wait, wait. Didn't he appear in the water fortress before? Let's see if he's there... And uh, no, hmm, okay, so, <laughs> just, just to be sure that he's not changing locations at, I mean, that he doesn't have a set location, excuse me. Um, yeah, so, oh, by the way, there's no, he doesn't appear at the Fighting Fortress because it doesn't have that uh, side room, so, yeah. Anyway, let's go to the Fire Fortress, and no go. Actually, I don't know why I'm looking up when I go to each different location, because it's like... You can tell if he's there by the music. Whoops, I... I just said he's not gonna be there, because there's no side room. Alright, Psychic Stronehold. There we go! <laughs> and, of course, we're gonna save our game. There we go. And... I'm ready, Makuni! The ro rogue rogue... Uh, or... Rogue... Rouge of start dumb. Uh, never mind. Oh, I remember you. <laughs> what do you want? Did you come to watch me dance, or are you after an autograph? Eh? Sound like that at all? You just want to play cards? Alrighty, I'm ready to catch them all. No. What? You want to play? Why not? So just getting primed and ready to catch them all. Okay, so same dialogue there. I'm the somehow red person. <laughs> So he does realize there's some other Imakuni, I guess. <laughs> or at least acknowledges it. You might be expecting me to be that same as that black Imakuni fellow. But that guy's a fake for sure. I'm the real kid. 
Hey, why don't we card pop? Go on! If you don't want to, kid, let's card pop! And let's card pop indeed! Woo-ish! <laughs> List that, at least, but this, this is not what I was exactly going for. I wanted to have another another duel with him, and I was just gonna run away. Um, so be. <laughs> I got a rare card! Let's save our data now. Okay. Thank you very much. I've been waiting, wanting this card badly. You have my thanks. I'll be sure to remember you, kid. And he's gone. <laughs> okay, so now what we gotta do, because I wasn't expecting that, is save our game and reset the Game Boy, you know, turn it off and back on again. <laughs> or hold all the buttons, I believe is the universal reset code. And see if he reappears. Okay. I just wanted to see might might reappear in that room, I don't know, but, uh, no, no, it couldn't be there either, because it doesn't have the side room, so... Nope, 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 nope I hate that area! <laughs> hate, hate that area! <laughs> um, alright, so we're just gonna go on... Nope, 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 okay. <laughs> Dang it, that one too! <laughs> there we go! And once again, we're gonna save just for the sake of convenience in case we lose. I'm ready to be included. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Remember you, what do you want? Watch me dance, autograph, yada yada yada. Yes. Six prize cards. I don't like short duels. So, yeah, like the other Imakuni, which could be the same Imakuni, I'm not too sure. After three, <laughs> he'll give us a Slowpoke level nine, which is that promo Slowpoke that we've seen the other Imakuni, or maybe same Imakuni. Use. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Venonat because of its status conditions. And I guess just dump everything out. It's like all my evolutionary lines in my opening hand there. <laughs> Except Scyther, you know, of course. Scyther is its own thing. And that's not the level 9 Slowpoke, but it is level 16 Slowpoke. And it may do... Some hypnosis? Oh, it did. Oh, man. Oh, man. But he could also nap his own critter, too, so it's a risk-reward sort of thing. And, oh, so he's gonna end his turn, okay, with computer error. Because, yeah, we all we get to draw as many cards as we want, up to five, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I got Venomoth, the Grass Energy gets the win, plus power, very nice. And, will I wake up, though? I do not. Well, Venonat does not. I'm wide awake. <laughs> um, should I energy removal that? Maybe? I, just, I, I don't know. I just, it just, it's not that threatening. I just, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like sometimes you don't don't even you're not too worried about that. Uh, what I will do though is set up for a Venomoth, regardless, because. If I still end up sleeping at my next turn, I'll just evolve it in Rainbow Powder. I mean, excuse me, tar Tornado Gust, because Rainbow Powder requires three, Tornado Gust is the two, and then I can swap and whatever. Uh, slow Poke, I mean, <laughs> Slow, now Slow Bro, I guess, is gonna use the Reel In? Or, wait, oh, oh, it's not, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright! Uh, I thought it was. I thought I was using it. I was just saying like it was active. Or did, I don't know. Well, you do that, and knock out my poor Venonat. Actually, did throw me for a loop. I must admit. <laughs> yeah, the uh, fickle attack may do nothing, but it actually managed to do something there. So uh, let's go ahead. Now it's kind of a threat, so we're gonna energy removal that. Put that on there, and just do a tackle for now. Uh, I, can't, I, I could plus power that, but. Nah, I'd rather save it, because I can plus power anything. And he might put his own critter to sleep this time, which he did. Uh, you know what, that's actually, if you, if you think about it, that's actually a lot worse to use that power than it could be for your opponent, because if you put your own Pokémon to sleep on your own turn, you don't have that buffer time where you could potentially wake up. But the opponent's Pokémon does have that buffer time between turns, because, yeah! <laughs> because once it goes back to them, they could potentially wake up, so... Huh... It's like, you gotta get those coin flips all in your favor, which is a 20, another one of those 25% chance dealios. In, in sort of a way, I guess you could say. 
in, for it to actually hinder your opponent. And the sleepy sleepies are still <laughs> it's really still in effect, but anyway. <laughs> uh, I guess I will begin the razor leafing then. Wait, 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 I can't razor leaf. Can yeah, I can, I need to. Um. And no Pokemon Trader to give myself an Ivysaur, huh? Hmm. Well, I suppose I could get my Rattata going and just tackle it. <laughs> I suppose. And it wakes up. Now, would it be wise for him to use the move that puts me? Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna say, would it be wise for him to use it? No, but he's probably gonna use it. Then he did use it indeed. Uh, oh, okay, so... Well, that's another burn turn. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you just go for the 40, you know, the fickle attack, rather than try and put the Bulbasaur to sleep when it's a coin flip anyway, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it worked this time, but... Uh, it wakes up. But will Bulbasaur wake up? It did not. But I could get an Ivysaur, who knows. Up. Actually, Ivysaur or Pokemon Trady will do the trick, but actually, you know what I should do? Keep my Bulbasaur around for a turn. Even if Fickle Attack hits, and... Yeah, I'll just... I guess I'll just end it. And uh, if I'm ab ever able to attack again, <laughs> I probably will be, I'll put in Rattata on 2 plus powers to finish off the Dark Slowbo. It's just it's just a weird, weird outcome right now. And the Fickle Attack hits for 20, thanks to Defender Bulbasaur lives! Oh, actually, you know what, I could save 1 plus power if I get an energy, and just, you know, Razor Leaf with my Bulbasaur. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Might as well, then. I'll go all the way up to the... Oh, wait, what if I hit... Oops, what if I had select to sort that? Will it sort it by... Yes, it will. But it, all, it still goes to the bottom anyway. Uh, <laughs> Alright, Razor Leap. Finish off Dark Slowbro. And call it a turn. It's kind of funny how just how similar both their decks is. Uh, both, excuse me, both their decks are. Although it could be is. I don't know! <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it's just that they're very, very similar to each other, except... The one at GR Island has dark Pokemon to reflect the more high dark Pokemon usage that are going on over here. And dark hypnosis hits Bulbasaur like a ton of bricks. And will it matter? We shall see. It mattered for him. <laughs> it's like, and it mattered for me too. Oh man. Oh man. And Radicate. Might as well plop that on there. Uh, why am I holding on to all these these cards in my hand anyway? I should be <laughs> I don't know! I'm just like I'm, I'm thinking of what's going on and not what I could be plopping out there just because. And I guess I'll put it on the Venonat in case I can get a Venomoth going. Ah, no wakey wakey. But will drowsy wakey wakey. It does, so it looks like Bulbasaur is probably going to be knocked out. We'll see, though. Oh! Oh, oh. <laughs> Got a Dark Gold Duck going, and that... Guess not. <laughs> I, I was... I would have swore you would have switched with something to just knock out the Bulbasaur outright. At least that's what I would have thought, because, yeah, the, well, maybe, maybe he couldn't. Yeah, I guess he couldn't. Hmm. Hmm. Hungry Snorlax, any- oh, that's- I'm full. Dang it. Um... I... I'll save the plus power and just use Rattata. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and knock out that Bulbasaur and just see you next turn, I suppose. It's like he's powering up for... Dark Hypno, maybe, it, but it's... I- I don't know. <laughs> See my cootie. <laughs> what can I say? Oh yeah, that's Eradicate, not Rattata. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna end up wiping those energy cards. So that's your own fault. <laughs> it's so funny. There's so so many turns have passed in this game because of all the the coin flip shenanigans. But as a result of that, it. 
neither of us have really got a lot of prize cards, and I've been setting up more stuff than he has, so I'm in a lot better position in general. <laughs> it's just saying. <laughs> and long distance hypnosis put, put both of us to sleep. And does not wake up. Will I wake up? Or I tether? I would. I mean, eradicate. I can't speak at all. Wake up. It does. That's all that matters, I guess. You know, energy removal. I suppose probably the meowth, because I don't really see it causing me that much ire. And I shall attack with the bites. There we go. Yeah, I know I have Pokemon Trader now, but. Just kind of, just, eh, just see what I need it for, <laughs> you know? I probably should just go straight for an Ivysaur, but I don't really have a powered up Bulbasaur to be able to handle that, and yeah. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> and... Well, <laughs> everyone sleeps again. <laughs> oh, Dark Hypno's here. And the Meowth, so yeah, I think it was. Probably the better idea to energy remove all that drowsy if he's gonna do that, but well, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the Raticate's got the psychic resistance anyway, so might not be that big of a deal. Yeah, maybe I will just go set up everything here. Just Pokemon Trader, the Scyther back to the deck. And there's Ivysaur. I can always get Venusaur a little bit later on to transfer energy over to it. Alas. Alas, so we're done. <laughs> this might be a game of eternal sleep until we run out of cards or something. <laughs> Maybe that's his plan. He realizes I have less cards than him and he could just stall me out because of my horrendous luck with coin flips. <laughs> Who knows? Eh, well, no, not that turn though, so... <laughs> yeah, the thing about coin flips is that your luck eventually does run out, so... So, yeah. Yeah! That, oh, still napping, too. <laughs> I mean, it's still gonna be doing the long distance hypnosis and stuff like that. Try and hit the re. Or do you run out of long distance hypnosis? Well, I woke up finally, and it <laughs> it's a little late for that, but. Yeah, I couldn't. Huh. Because he's. What? Did he give up on the long distance hypnosis? I thought because he evolved one. But no, yeah, I, I just thought he had, Yeah, he had two! <laughs> so. I don't know. As I keep saying, it's Imakuni. His. His logic. His logic may not always be there. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Now you're confusing! Oh no, the power! The power! <laughs> Everyone is confused! Myself! Is Meowth himself? <laughs> okay, so that that actually cured the confusion, <laughs> but uh, it kind of did something else, and that Meowth cannot attack whatsoever. And well, now my Raticate may not <laughs> be able to attack. I don't know if I should just gust of wind that uh, other drowsy in there to stop the hypnosis, but I don't know. Just it's kind of funny seeing how this is turning out. Um. What do you say? We go give that to Ivysaur. Because Ivysaur has a 40. And then we do retreats with the Ivysaur. And we use the plus power because of math. And then we use the Vine Whip. <laughs> How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. Alright, so Dark Dip Hypno <clears throat> is good to go. It worked! It worked! But, will it matter that much? I don't know. <laughs> Side Punch has got 20. It's kind of... I, I, I guess it'll eventually get me there, but... Uh, oh, I didn't wake up. <laughs> I was gonna say, but I'll probably get something like a Venusaur eventually, and I'll just be able to... Yeah! This outright... Oh, he's got... <laughs> Damn, that's a lot, a lot of hypnosis going on here! Um, maybe I'll go put that on the Scyther and call it a turn because I really don't really have much else to do there. And we shall see how it turns out. Oh, oh no! 
Oh man, maybe he's got some sort of deadly strategy to use with Imakuni! Or not. <laughs> it's double damage to itself, by the way. Because, yeah, it's a psychic Pokémon and it's weak to psychic, so if it hits itself, that's double damage. Confusion is 20. Uh, it changed to 30, I do believe, in later uh, iterations of the card game rules. So, yeah! <laughs> Imagine if that was the way it was... now, yes! Anyway. Mm, actually, I shouldn't say I do believe it. It does, I do. I believe, no, 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 it was a... Hmm. I have to think about that for... I might, I might be confusing it for burn or something. <laughs> Um, I, I, I've just been fo so focused on this game's rules, I kind of forgot the more modern game's uh, current rule set off to catch myself up on that. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking I'll go ahead and repower that up. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, if you press B and right, you can just check the discard pile like that. And yeah, easy. <laughs> um, no, we're done. <clears throat> And... Will it matter, though, if I didn't attack? Because he might just KO himself. Uh, well, well, that's actually... It might actually turn out to be useful for me. <laughs> if you think about it. And... Side punch. Well... <laughs> yep. Didn't matter that I didn't wake up. <laughs> and... Will I wake up now? No! Uh, I just need to do 50 damage to something, because it's like everything, yeah, everything on his side is 50, so... Um, what can I do 50 with? Hungry Snorlax, I suppose. And then use a switch. Uh, what if I... actually, wait a second. What if I go to Venomoth and cause paralysis with Rainbow Powder, and then get poison on the next turn? I mean, I don't expect that it'll turn out that way, but I got the first portion of that going on there. Because basically the paralysis will stop any sort of retreats. Oh yeah, and there's this. <laughs> so I still need this to go in my favor. <laughs> and... It's cured, but will I be cured? I am cured! So now I need a Tails to win the game. Or... Oh wait, actually no, I could just switch to Ivysaur, so I don't have to rely on luck at all. Very nice! Well, except, you know, I had to wake up. Uh, bunk, bunk, bunk. Victory! And that's my third win versus Red Imakuni. Woo! Or is it also Black Imakuni? I don't know. I don't know. I'm more dangerous than you think! You didn't think you could lose, eh? I'll wait a bit for it to sink in. Huh? What? Did I lose? You're saying you beat me three times now? <laughs> well, I had no idea. Take this card. It's been worthless to me. And there's a Slowpoke promo card. Not even for your collection? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, uh, the Amnesia, if you, the opponent's Pokemon only has one attack. You wouldn't be able to... I mean, you could stop them from using that attack indefinitely. <laughs> like Rattata's Bite, for instance. Anyway. See ya, kid! I'll leave you! Though my only crime sin is being Crimson. <laughs> Get a crime sin, Crimson pun. Oh, never mind. Alright! Well, we beat him again. Or... We beat him both again. Or we beat him again twice. I don't know. Do you know? <laughs> but anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I maybe get some information on Imakuni. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I, she seems to be mysterious. And, uh.